I think I see better when I got my Glock beside me I'm rolling up some pressure just to hide the pain inside me I'm sliding in the SRT but it feel like a ride. And she calling my phone, I'm blowing up, she say I'm sorry I think I see better when I got my Glock beside me I'm rolling up some pressure just to hide the pain inside me Alright, so on to the next build Now we got a uh, 14 and up uh, Silverado And we got a uh, little 6 inch rough country that we're going to be doing so far So I got pretty much everything laid out Still got the box right here I believe that's either the struts or the coil spacers uh, I'm not too sure which one he went with But uh, I'll be getting that out of the box soon But uh, yeah, about to go ahead and uh, get this thing in the air Get the wheels loose And start ripping some of this stuff off the front uh, he's not putting the rear lift in, so he's just leaving that how it is. He also has some 26s and 37 uh, snowflakes on some gladiators. Tires look pretty pretty newish, uh, so setup looks clean. Look like it's rarely been rode on, but uh, yeah, look good. About to go ahead and get it up in the air, and then uh, I'll check back in as soon as uh, we get some progress going. So let's get it. All right, so uh, went ahead and started getting some of this stuff out. Got everything up front out, so pretty empty up under here so i got the upper control arms push out the way i'm gonna go ahead and cut that bump stop just in case he ends up wanting to go higher it's just easier to go ahead and knock it out plus i don't want this stock upper hitting on that uh too hard if this lift ends up extending it down that way uh, people have a lot of problems with the upper control arms busting whenever uh, they leave the bump stop in there if they end up going a little higher than uh, what the lift um specifies for so i just go ahead and get that shit out of there it's really not really a a point for it to be in there so uh yeah unless you're stock you really don't damn need it if you're lifted i'd just go ahead and take it out just in case you want to go higher but uh yeah all i gotta do now is uh go ahead and get some of these wires out of this uh differential and then uh unplug everything out the rack and pinion then cut these i'll cut both sides just to help get the diff out a lot easier um i think the manual does specify for you to cut both sides but i do it anyways just to help it out a lot because uh the way that these diffs are they're sandwiched up here against this damn rack and pinion and it sucks getting them out because you can't really tilt them forward you got to go back with them and uh yeah just cutting both of these off helps everything out the way and then uh you should be good to go all right so went ahead and got the strut spacers put on these struts so those are all tight and good to go and uh ended up getting all the clips and stuff taken out of the differential yeah man everything is clean clear and out the way so now tomorrow will be more of a day of the cutting and uh a lot of the uh more i guess tedious work as far as cutting the frame and uh just you know getting this diff out probably take me about an hour or so to get that out and then uh of course probably another hour of just cutting shit just to get everything clearance and out the way but uh after that like i said man i probably have this thing uh if not done tomorrow, it'll be damn near done tomorrow uh, in the front at least. Because like I said, without the rear lift getting put in, it kind of makes everything a lot easier. I ain't got to get back here and worry about throwing the blocks in and all that shit. Even though it only takes me about an hour, uh, that's just an hour that I get to save in this process. But yeah, man, hopefully uh, by tomorrow we'll be throwing this setup on and trying to figure out uh, what will need to be cut. Because I'm pretty sure shit's going to be cut. Uh, we do plan on getting back into the truck shit. Uh, probably won't be the same as, as it used to be. Like hitting up all the shows. I'll probably go to some bigger shows. Tailgates and tall boys, shit like that. Probably go out to Orlando to Classic maybe. And uh, Daytona and shit like that. But I'm not going to be really hitting up any local meets. Try to go far, travel with it. And damn, just try to get better content, man. Because... The way that the truck scene is now, that shit is garbage. I uh, don't see myself getting back into that bullshit just because back in the days whenever Nopi was around, everything was, you know, enjoyable and fun. And uh, now that, you know, the younger generation done got in and fucked it all the way up, uh, it's just not fun no more. Cops ain't fucking with it, and uh, they know that it's a problem every time we go down to Myrtle. So that's pretty much shut down, and, uh, yeah, everything just went to shit whenever... Yeah, uh, young dumb motherfuckers got in. He used to be about uh, building your truck, and the person that was in it, I'm about to get up out of here for the night and uh, hit the road. We'll get back in the morning, try to finish this thing up, and then uh, hopefully we'll be seeing uh, another squatted one come out the door. All right, so GoPro being its usual self, but went ahead and got the front situated, so I got the diff dropped. Got the crossers cut on both sides, that way I could get the diff out. 
uh, went ahead and got the diff drop brackets in here. Everything is tight, got all, everything plugged back in and stuff. So now we're getting to the CV axle spacers and uh, I go to look in the bag and I promise you, I cannot make this shit up at this point. Like, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I don't know if they know that it's coming to me and to short me with every fucking thing that they get, but that's just what's been happening lately. So rough country, Miss Judy, since you inspected this bag, I got eight bolts, eight fucking bolts. It's supposed to be 12, eight fucking bolts. All right, so got some more done. Got the cross members put in. Uh, they're a lot shorter. I'm not sure if they're the same as the seven and a half or if it's just the way that these six inches look, but they look a lot smaller than what I'm used to looking at, but Oh well, got them in. Uh, I got the axle bolts put in, or the CV axle bolts put in. So I got two of them that are pretty old. Uh, they've been sitting around for a little while, but they'll work. They're the only ones I got in here that got the same thread pitch. And then I got four on top and bottom of the new ones. And uh, I got all the new hardware in. Everything clears out good. Uh, just put the upper control arm on the other side. So now I'm about to uh, go ahead and get to doing the struts go ahead and put the sway bar drop brackets on go ahead and put the sway bar on and then uh we should be pretty solid i already cut the tie rods as well so those are all good to go uh if you didn't know on these kits here you got to cut three eighths off the inner and outer tie rod so uh yeah that's pretty much it but you'll see that in the instructions one thing i give it to rough country is uh their instructions are pretty damn decent uh they're pretty you know clear through it's just how they package shit is just it irritates the fuck out of me everything else been going smooth so uh gonna go ahead and keep pushing on this thing i would put on time lapse and show y'all a little bit uh some you know working video but the fucking gopro when it's cold out here just it does not like it so probably gonna have to end up getting me a new gopro here soon uh just to get in the shop with maybe get a head mount or something that way i can show y'all as i'm working but for right now this is gonna do between the iphone and this so, ain't no big deal. Ain't shit gonna stop backyard built from filming. So, we're gonna get back to it. But, yeah, man, just wanted to show y'all a little bit of the progress of how this shit's been going. These kits are pretty easy to put in if you're a rookie and uh, putting shit on your truck. Uh, this is probably one I'd probably recommend starting with, um, especially if you're not trying to go too OD. Because once you get a little higher FTS show off, they do not include instructions inside their kits. Guys, you might get an instruction sheet, you might not, you might have to look it up online. But good thing about those companies, they're online. So yeah, we're getting back to it. We ain't got much left with the spindles, struts, skid plate, drop brackets, and then the brake line uh drop brackets as well. And then the new sway bar link. So yeah, we're getting it done. Alright, so we're back and uh after the meltdown yesterday I kinda had to go home kind of situate myself made the spindles work so i ended up drilling them out there's not really too much space in between here but it's still got a taper to it so it'll at least hold the ball joint how it is there's no movement in it so got the bottom just about the same way um there's just like a little fingernail tip of a gap in there just to uh hold it i got some washers on the bottom to hold the bolt up and kind of squeeze it down so Everything else on that side is good to go. I got everything tight. Um, just got to cut that piece off the brake line bracket and uh, that should be good. But just got this side finished. You can see the carnage behind all this shit. I got fucking metal all through the floor and destroyed my brand new drill bit. Uh, this one was putting in some fucking work. I ain't gonna lie, but sheared the fucking edge off of it trying to get these spindles drilled. And then I had the old steel one and the... Uh, that one did the exact same fucking thing. They look the exact same way. So, all I'll say, this drill here definitely did the damn job and didn't give up at all. So, that's good. At least I got that situated. So, had to end up getting that new drill because mine broke. And then I had to get some new drill bits because, you know, obviously that steel one wasn't working. But now they're both broke. So, yeah, that was a nice $20 to throw the fuck away for some fucking spindles that don't work but it is what it is uh just gonna have to go and grab some more it's just what it has to just what has to happen sometimes whenever you're trying to make some shit fit that isn't supposed to fit but it works so 
the best alternative besides ordering from Rough Country and having to wait fucking weeks at a time for them to come. So, yeah, that's it, man. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw this side together. I already got the bottom ball joint tight. So, that one's secured. It's not going anywhere. Still got the taper and the top one as well. Um, so I just got to tighten those up, throw this side back together, just like this side. I'm going to get this shit over here cleaned up because it's just a lot of metal bits everywhere. So I'm going to have to sweep this out and then uh, we'll just move on to throwing these wheels on, throwing this shit in the back and getting this damn thing up out of here. Rough Country specifies on their website uh, the control arm material because with these, these went away from the cast uh, steel um, lower control arms like the 07 to 13 models whenever they got up to about 14 they ended up going with aluminum uh, from 14 to 16 I believe and then after 16 they usually just went with the stamp steel so you can see some of them with stamp steel some of them with aluminum just depends they both have the same ball joint size but cast steel is not the same they got smaller studs for the ball joints so the spindles are not gonna fucking fit let's go ahead and stop talking get back to it get this side thrown together and then throw the wheels on. Then we'll pull it outside, see what it look like. Um, after I figure out if I gotta cut this shit or not, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, so got the front wheels on. Got my little helper in here. Say what up. What's up? Say what's up. What's up? Say what's up, YouTube. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> so I got the wheels on, got the front lift done. He got his little toolbox and everything out here. But uh, yeah, got the wheels on and uh, front suspension is good. So both sides are good to go. Just took me about two hours to get this shit done. But uh, yeah, now I'm just gonna move on to the back, get the rear wheels put on. And then uh, we should be able to pull this thing out and move the wheel over here. But I'm almost positive that uh, this little corner right here is gonna have to come off probably like a little bit, like slightly a little corner. All right, got her all done. So. Got the rear wheels on, had to cut the back a little bit or take the little trim pieces off because uh, it was rubbing, but yeah. About to go ahead and try to see how much uh, turning radius I got now that I got the alignment kind of straight and locked in. And then uh, we'll go from there. So we'll have to just see how it sits and uh, how it turns. But uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to cut this front just a little bit, but we'll get to that. Go ahead and take this damn thing up out of here. It's been a pain in the ass with a lot of shit that I've been missing and uh, shit that was wrong, but it is what it is. We got it done, so it's behind me. Everything look good. Can't really see it's dark, but I'll show y'all better outside. She's done. So, got the rear wheels in. Like I was saying, I had to take these little trim pieces off real quick because there's barely any space in there for this motherfucker to move. Had to take this one off too. But uh, everything else ended up turning out pretty good. So, it's all done. Six inch rough country. Nothing in the back. Don't really look like too much uh, with the way that this lift is set up. You know, usually on the seven inches, you got these lowers kind of spread down. So, it's probably just a bigger uh coil spacer but that's pretty much it man but yeah man all complete done good to go and uh she looking good so yes sir another one out for the new year so it's a good thing man but i'm gonna get the hell up out of here this one's finished pretty short video but oh well we'll be putting something else out there and then uh finishing up so that's it